These are in-game alerts and in-game chat messages for TikTok Live and I'm going to show you how to easily add them using a new Tickfinity feature. And you want to start by setting up a local PaperMC server that has ServerTap installed. I'll put my guide for that in the description if you haven't done that yet. Now one quick note, currently ServerTap is broken with the latest versions of Paper. So if it's not working for you, head to this link in the description and download Paper version 160. Then what you want to do is delete your paper.jar file, replace it with the new one and then double click run.bat to restart the server. For step two, we're going to change one important setting which is going to make our chat look cleaner. By default, when these alerts pop on screen, it puts two ugly messages into your chat. We don't want that, so we're going to remove it. As you saw, I'd already removed it. I did it by right clicking server.properties. I chose open with and just opened it with notepad. Then you want to find this one here which says broadcast archon to ops and change it to false. Then just hit Control S on your keyboard and close out of it. You'll also want to restart your server at this point. Next up, we're using a new Tickfinity feature. This is going to install all five alerts for us with just a few clicks. So head to my website link in the description and click the download button to download the free alerts. If you do want to set them up yourself, don't worry, I'll show you how to do that later on. For now, we'll move on to setting up Tickfinity. Just before that, every week I send over 500 people free advice to monetize and grow their live streams. So check out the free newsletter in the description. Now let's set up Tickfinity. We can get it looking like this with just a few clicks. Tickfinity is of course linked in the description and I recommend you use the desktop app which is linked there. And you want to head to the setup page, start by logging in and then add in your username. I'm just using somebody else's to test it. And we have a few more settings to change on this page. We're going to scroll down to the Minecraft connection and underneath player name, you want to add in your Minecraft username. Keep scrolling down this page and make sure you have logged into TikTok. And finally, the important button on this page, you want to click import settings from file. Once again, I've linked this in the description. Click select file, find where it is, double click it, and then make sure you check actions and check events. Then just hit start import. It'll take a few seconds and it will reload Tickfinity. When it's done, you get the success message. And if you connect onto the actions and events page, you'll see you've got five actions and five events. And if you connect into your game, you'll have something looking like this. You'll also have some sounds. This is what the sounds are like for a very active stream. Anyway, if you don't want to make any changes, you're now done, but you probably do want to make some. It's just a case of pressing the pencil icon to edit the relevant Minecraft command. Or if you want to change the number of likes or the number of coins, you edit the action. Many people won't want the likes turned on at all. So just uncheck the box here and it will turn off the like alerts. Don't forget if you want to simulate these, scroll to the bottom of the page and you can simulate any of them. Let's quickly go through each action for people who want to add it themselves. So firstly, here's the Minecraft chat one. Every one of these is just execute Minecraft command. The rest of these settings aren't actually relevant at all. So you can just press save and you can ignore that red error message. Let's now look at the follower one. Once again, all you really need is the execute Minecraft command and the name at the top. Take note here that you can see it says aqua here. You can change this to any of the allowed Minecraft colors. If you want to get even more detailed, I'll get to that in a bit. But once again, the other options don't really matter. Press save. Let's look quickly at the subscriber one. Same applies here, except this time we've got the sound playing. If you don't want the sound, just highlight this section and just delete it. If you want to change the sound, keep watching. We'll once again get to that in a second. Again, the other options don't matter. Similar for gifters, we also have the sound playing on here as well. Once again, if you don't want that, just delete this section. Again, other options don't matter, press save. I'll briefly say for gifters, if you edit the event down here, if you don't want it to trigger for every rose, for example, if you want it 100 coins and above, just change the number and press save. Finally, let's quickly look at the likes. Once again, the only one that matters is execute Minecraft command. Make any changes to the text or the color. Other options don't matter and press save. And for people adding these themselves, let me just speed run through the events again. They're all pretty simple. So just feel free to pause the video to add them yourself if you haven't downloaded the file. Now, of course, you can go way more advanced with Minecraft titles than this. And you also might want to change the sound. So here's two ways to do that. 
Firstly, in the description, I've made you a free chat GPT prompt to change the sound. Just copy and paste it into chat GPT and it's going to suggest you different sounds. Of course, chat GPT is a conversational bot, so have a chat with it if you want something else. I also have a more generic chat GPT command, which will get you any Minecraft command. That's in my commands video. I'll put that in the description. And once again, if you want to make these titles even more advanced, here's a website that'll help you. This is a title generator, so just type in whatever title you want, make any changes, type in any subtitle, choose any different options here. I would suggest you change the selector to your player name, and then just hit generate command and paste it into Tickfinity. And that is all there is to it. As you probably saw, I was in a cube. That's the cube game. If you want to learn how to set that up, follow this video here.